Hello, friends. Um, first, let me apologize for the timing being like all off this week. I don't know why, but for some reason, when I put together my schedule in my calendar and I put together my schedule for the schedule graphic, those were two different schedules. So I apologize. Uh, today, I had down that today's stream was starting at 2, and I had told everybody else it was starting at 1. So I'm sorry about that. I'm also noticing that this camera feels like it's a little crooked. For me, so I'm gonna fix it. Free hugs for everybody. Let's see if that'll work. Okay, that looks better. Great, great, great. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Free hugs are the best. Hey, free hugs, my friends. Welcome, everybody. I know Dinobot's been sleepy lately, so I did the uh the Discord notification. But today's Wacky Wednesday. I was not intending it to be wacky because I started an hour later than you all thought I was going to. I intended it to be wacky because we're playing the Alan Wake 2 Night Springs DLC. And I'm very, very excited. CP says, I never look at the schedule. That way it's always a pleasant surprise. I try to give the schedule to people that like to have that. Um, but this schedule also makes it a lot harder. Like if you're wondering why I haven't posted in, on Instagram in over two weeks, it's because I prioritize things like keeping up with my predetermined schedule that I made seven days before. Oh, here, did Dino just do it? Dino just did it. I'm gonna delete Dino's. But at least we know it worked this time. Okay, so next time I won't be, Dino just did it. So next time I won't be so wild about making it happen. Uh, let's see. Yeah, no jury duty today. I didn't get called in. Dino's a wild card. You never know what's going to happen. But yeah, immediately after the stream is over today, I will post something on Instagram because it's been like two weeks since I've posted anything in feed on Instagram. And I'm like up awake at night stressing about it, which is a dumb thing to stress about if we're going to be honest. But like, it's like a nagging thing in the back of my head. Now granted, I took some time off for vacation and I was sick. And when you're sick, the last thing you want to do is be like, <laughs> selfie is the last thing you want to do. Um, but I also didn't take a lot of pictures when we were on our beach vacation because of that. I think I posted once that whole week. Wacky Fit Check, Wacky Wednesday Fit Check says lacrosse player. I actually, I, this is why I was like, I want to post on Instagram today because I like my outfit choice. I put on the colorful skirt today. I was like, it's warm out, it's summer, it's colorful time, so. You're sick now. I'm sorry, Tang Shade X. There's so many like weird viral things going on right now, like going around. So everybody stay healthy as much as you can, please. Scarf says groovy, right? That, I always think of Austin Powers when I wear this skirt. Clean yo glasses, says Austin. Thank you, I will. Do I have a glasses wipe up here? If I don't have a wipe up here, I can do it the old fashioned way. If I can open this drawer. Mm, yes, I do have a microfiber cloth up here. Good morning to you, Zeppi. Is it morning where you are? It's afternoon for me. You had a 10 and a half hour long day at work yesterday. That does sound like a hard day, Corgi. I'm sorry. Well, hopefully you made a lot of money working that much. Get that overtime. Get that overtime. All right, glasses cleaned and good to go. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. All right, and by the way, uh, I will be contacting everyone who redeemed channel points for the giveaway by the way, there's a giveaway, command giveaway in chat if you want the link to the giveaway. Um, I will be contacting everybody who redeemed channel points for the giveaway, hopefully this evening. Tomorrow is a holiday here in the US, it's July 4th, so I won't be streaming tomorrow. Um, but hopefully this evening, I'll be able to hit everybody up. The subtle flowy hair flex, says Humble Sage. I did go to the hair salon earlier today. That's why the stream had to start a little bit later. I went to the hair salon today. So this is salon hair. I could never make it look this cute. They did They did well. Ryano, thank you for the resub. Appreciate you, friend. All right, I am so excited to get into this DLC. Uh, if you'll remember, this dropped while I had appointments back to back to back at Summer Game Fest. 
and then I immediately flew to Pennsylvania for two weeks, which is why I have not had a chance to play it yet. So I'm going to launch it up now and we can jump right in. I know there's three different chapters and hopefully we'll be able to do all three of them today. Oh, it's election day tomorrow, a chance for a UK celebration as well. Well, I hope for all the outcomes that you hope for, I hope that the best thing for the future happens. Is my Corsair cooler able to keep up with the heat outside? I'm having to run the AC. As long as I run the AC, it's okay. But if I don't run the AC, ooh, it's spicy. It's spicy. Ah, they fixed the DLC. It had a ton of ammo before the patch. Interesting. Okay, here we go. I don't know why it like defaulted to a uh, windowed mode. That was strange. <laughs> Frequency punch got here in time to see the fit check. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Enter continue. Okay, I have to adjust. Here we go. The whole inventory was ammo. That's hilarious. All right, so let me... Expansions is what we need, but for some reason, my graphics are all messed up. It's unwindowed. I want it on borderless. There we go. I don't know why it did that. But yeah, so last we played this, we beat the game. Uh, and apparently it was a bug. Yes, DLC is three different parts with three different characters. Now, I know, just because I'm a big Remedy fan, that you can play as Rose, you can play as Jesse Faden, and you can play as uh, Sheriff Breaker. Those are the three different characters that you can play as. Night Springs DLC. Number one fan has to be Rose. Time Breaker has to be Sheriff Breaker. And North Star, I guess, is Jesse Faden. Which one should we do first? I'm so excited. Which one should we do first? Jesse, Rob says we should do Jesse Faden's chapter first. Or maybe we should do them in order. Maybe they're meant to be done in order. Save Time Breaker for last. Okay. Let's. Because Remedy has things that I don't understand that they do that, like, are all puzzly, it's probably best to do the chapters in order. Yeah, Tang Shade X says in order is best. Warning, loading into the expansion from this menu will overwrite your progress in the existing expansion quick save slot. I don't have any progress in the existing expansion quick save slot, so we should be good. Emperor Keelich, happy 60th subversary. Woo woo, that's your five year, baby. Happy five year subversary. I'm so excited, y'all. <gasps> Why, hello, Mr. Jor. A fan. The dictionary definition of the word is an enthusiast, a fervent devotee. An abbreviation of fanatic. Hmm. What comes across to an outsider as a dangerous obsession or even madness is something entirely different from the point of view of the fan herself. To be a fan is a joyous existence. One filled with the happiness that stems from knowing with utter clarity the purpose of your life. But what if that purpose could be more still? If you could be lifted hey, out of the flock as your idol's chosen one. The only one who could decipher his secret messages. <laughs> what lengths would you go to save the object of your obsession in... Night Springs? Tonight's cult classic episode, number one fan. Teleplay by Alan Wake. Hosted by Warland Door. The best pie in town. She wears Gen Z socks, y'all.
life's a funny thing. You spend all your time wishing and hoping and dreaming for something, and then, bam! Destiny shows up at your door like a mailman with a package you were pretty sure got lost because you ordered it like six months ago. You have returned. But that's okay. When your destiny has eyes like sunsets and a beard like mahogany colored velvet, <laughs> I don't really mind how it arrives. Oh, she loves him so much. Oh, but my day didn't start off with all that excitement. It began like any other day did for this waitress slash protector of the town of Ninth Springs. Okay. As always, Knight's Diner was the hottest spot in town, so That's there was insane. plenty of work to do. Employees only. Can't go in storage yet. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Could I get another cup of that delicious special brew that only you know how to make? I can't hear who's course. saying it. Who and like the ex waitress in me is like, I don't know who to bring the coffee to. One for me, please. And Hi, Ground. How are you? Will do. Let me just grab a fresh pot. Okay, fresh pot. Provide coffee refills. Sorry, y'all. Sorry, I dropped my mouse. Do you need coffee? No. Who needs coffee? Here we go. I got you. I would kill to have a passion like you do for that writer of yours. You two are destined for each other. We sure are. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Hot coffee. I heard your fan site for that writer was named best fan site in the world. Congratulations. Thanks. This is like Rose's Wasn't dream come easy. true. Random strangers are like, you belong with him. Your fan site's the best fan site in the world. Here you go. A person of your genius and grace is wasted serving coffee to us regular Joes and Joannes. Oh, I don't mind. Wow. Wowie, wow, wow, wow. Here's your coffee. How do you juggle running this diner, your bird century, and that amazing fan site for the writer you love so much? I work extremely hard, but also I'm naturally talented. <sighs> well, heck, no wonder us regular folks can't keep up. I'll never be as successful as you. <laughs> Not with that attitude. You won't be with that attitude. Life's not a side order of hash browns, so don't expect someone to bring it to you. Wow. That's tough, but fair. Thank you for telling me exactly what I needed to hear. No problem. This is so funny. Look, that man just has donuts and a killer mustache. Okay, did everybody That's get coffee? coffee? Better put this pot back. I loved being the very successful owner and operator of the county's most popular diner. But that was nothing compared to my grease fire of passion for the writer and his sheer literary talent and flowing hair and lips like buttery pie crust. Oh, Rose. Hi. I need to clear the empty pie plates from the tables. Shucks. Her lusting after Alan Wake makes me uncomfortable. My date last night was a total bust. You're the expert on romance? Yeah. Any advice? What happened? Yes. But first, tell me everything. Long story short, she told me I dressed like a divorced gym teacher. But <laughs> it's what's inside that matters, right? Um, you need to make an effort. Oh, you still have to put in some effort. <laughs> if you don't have a jacket with elbow patches, buy one. Elbow patches? <laughs> oh, got it. Thanks a million. <laughs> don't mention it. 
It is hilarious that this did say the teleplay was written by Alan Wake. So all of Rose's uncomfortable lusting after Alan was written by Alan. Is not Steiner going to enter the statewide pie competition this year? Of course. We're going to make this our 20th win in a row. Okay, you a woman that loves you like Rose loves Alan Wake, for sure. I saw on the news that you saved every single kitten from that bear attack. Every kitten. Amazing. Thanks. Those yoga lessons really paid off. <laughs> the writer lives just outside town in that mansion of his. Why don't you go talk to him? Oh, we have our own ways of talking. Mm, that's not creepy, Rose. I better take these plates back to the service window. Excuse me, can I borrow you? What can I get you? Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> I need a good book recommendation. Okay. After all, you're the town's literature buff. <gasps> oh, you have got to read the newest book in the writer's crime trilogy. <sighs> I'll grab you a copy from the back. Get the novel from storage. Okay. Can I go into the kitchen too? No time for that. Oh, not I've got right now. Customers waiting. I have to go get him the book from storage. He better not crease any pages. Two can do it. Thank you so much for taking in my six macaws. I know you have your hands full with all the other sick birds at your bird sanctuary, but if anyone can find a cure for their rare bird lupus, it's you. Yours truly, a young girl who wants to be you someday. Lore will hurt. The, oh, love will hurt. But this says lore will hurt. Hold up. Here it says love. Here it says lore. The only thing that hurts more than love is loving again. Love Will Hurt by America's best-selling writer. Your favorite writer whose voice you would recognize in your sleep. I'm in danger. Please, my number one fan. You're the only one who can save me. Oh my gosh. Don't worry. I'm on my way. My beloved writer was in terrible danger and I had to rescue him. The stakes had never been higher. Luckily, I kept all my accessories in the diner's kitchen. Okay. I was afraid it wasn't going to let me look at the rest of this. Death comes for everyone. That doesn't mean it's painless. Death will hurt. So lore will hurt slash love. Death will hurt and will hurt. A man's life is ripped away. He's out to get justice and the whole city by America's best-selling writer. Okay. Um, what do we have over here? Beat Poetry Night at Knight's Diner. Knight's Diner presents Beat Poetry Night for the literary advancement of Knight Springs. Oh my goodness. Wait, is he in the cat crop top? Is a No, this is Alan. Is that Rose in the cat crop top? Oh, she makes him a cat. She's into Alan as a cat. So yeah, that's him saying I miss you and then her picking him up and smooching him. That is amazing. The hair is also amazing. Yes, for sure. Employee of the decade, everyone's favorite waitress. In recognition of basically being the best at like everything. Wow. Wow, wow, wowie, wow, wow, Rose. Okay, so he just talked to us through the fish. Can we get into any of the other rooms? Does not look like we can. We can get into the bathroom. Anything we need to do in the bathroom. It does not appear so, at least at this time. Oh, and here's back into the kitchen. Wait a second, what? Everything a girl needed to claim victory in the battle for love. Um, this is just what her back room at the diner looks like? 
My trusty 12 gauge, fully automatic. Extreme oh. circumstances call for extreme shotguns. Okay. My bolt action hunting rifle with a gorgeous walnut stock. Deadly. And looks good doing it. Wow, ma'am. Like I was finally ready for a night out on the town with danger. There was no time to waste. Okay, so it doesn't look like a I can pick up anything else in here. was the fastest way to my rider's mansion in the woods outside town. Shortcut through the boatyard. Oh, wait, what's happening in here? Everyone's cheering for me. None of them are scared that I'm holding a gun. Is there something on TV? What are they cheering at? Okay. Thanks for the support, everybody. I love the dancing. The boat yard is this way. You hurry. <laughs> Go through the boat yard. It's the shortest route. The boat yard is this way. It's the shortest route. Okay, I mean, here's the boats. No entry there. I'll get back on track. This was my moment. My chance to save the rider and make him realize how much he needed me. And if that's not love, I don't know what is. Okay. One waitress plus one rider equals forever. I know I never got that guy his book. Is this where I need to go? No, I just need to keep running the direction of the people. I was leaving my old life behind. Body left to sink in a lake so no one finds it. Nothing would get between me and my future with the writer. Except for this locked door. Ooh, yeah, Rose. Odin? Who do we got here? Now, who the heck is that? Hello? Oh. I knew you'd come to his rescue. Who who are you and why do you look like Alan? Who are you? And why do you look like a slightly less handsome version of my writer? Oh, don't you ever compare me to that worthless hack. Sure, I may be his wild and rebellious estranged twin brother, but... Oh, clearly. We can't all be perfect. I had no idea he had a brother. To think there were two of him all this time. After today, there won't be. No more writer, no more books, no more living in his shadow. But he's your brother. His brother! I'm sure you two can talk it out and realize you have so much in common and after you change you can move in together and I'll come over with popcorn for movie nights <laughs> he had his chance for popcorn and movie nights but he wanted to keep everything for himself too bad you know what they say you can't join him beat him what did you do to him I locked Mr. Fancy Pants up somewhere you'll never find him. You won't get away with this. I'll stop you. Babe, I got an army of people that hate that hack almost as much as I do. They're ready to die that stops him from writing another crappy book. What do you got? I have love or I have a shot. I have a shotgun. I have a shotgun. <laughs> well, I got a... Wait, is that... That's a real shotgun? Yes. Okay, I admit that's a... I didn't expect that. <clears throat> but it doesn't matter. <laughs> you can't stop all of us. Only a Wait, what? Line to the poignance of my writer's book. Okay, hold on. I gotta... Okay, okay. 
Wait, what? Activate shotgun's fully automatic fire mode by holding down. Use it! Hold it! I'm holding it! Do I need to reload? What's happening? game difficulty is on normal you can change it in options i just need to remember the controls honestly i'm getting there a monster could be blind to the poignance of my writer's books okay, that guy's gotta go first Get a little jog going, Rose. Woo, free! These dudes are such bullet sponges half the time in this game. Look, that guy's just got a hole in him and he's still going. Woo! No, thank you! Ah, oh, I missed! Okay. How we doing, Rose? I think we got bullets over here if I can go get them. Give me that. <laughs> did I get the big guy yet? I did not. Get him now. Okay, the music stopped. Woo! I don't think I have any heals, but let's look at... Okay. Uh, how do I assign... Okay, that's where my heals are. My writer's jerky twin had him locked up somewhere, like a sweet, helpless prince locked in a tower. But his fan in shining armor was on her way. Luckily, one of those haters had made a hole in the okay. fence for me. The music is so funny. Okay, what do we got here? Uh-oh. Where are they coming from? Why'd the music start? Okay, there's bad guys somewhere. <laughs> Sorry, I got too scared! They fell in the water. Oh my gosh. Okay, can I just get in the boat now? I want to get in this love boat with the petals and the champagne and the teddy bear. Do they not need me to go there? Yep, 
You said there's a hole in the fence. This way, that hole? The twins' motorcycle okay. had left tracks in the mud. I recognized the tread pattern immediately, thanks to my famously keen perception. The tracks would lead me right to my writer and his kidnapper. I felt like the detective from my writer's books, solving the case with my wits. All I needed now was an unlimited supply of black coffee and crippling emotional trauma caused yeah. by the untimely death of my spouse. Black coffee and crippling emotional trauma. Perfect for Rose. More haters. Okay, where are they? Right up there. My spinach this morning. So don't mess with me. Don't get between me and my writer. I'm gonna get behind this tree and then. Which one is my rifle? They both look the same. Oh, hold on. I need to fill my gun up. There's my rifle. Thank goodness. That's what I wanted this whole time. Here. and remap after the battle. Yikes. She doesn't have a double holster though, I think. That's what I did before, is I used my side mouse button. But you can't come in here. Listen, they're just talking smack. Oh, they can come in here. Very rude. Oh no. No, oh, they can't come in here. No, I'm gonna die because I can't switch guns fast enough. Okay. It's still the. Okay, we're healed. I think I've got the shotgun. The music is still going. Which means the battle's not over. Come on! That was like point blank with the shot. Oh no, these guys are the They're the freaking worst. Woo! Look at that. No skin even left. Okay, who else we got? Nothing in there. All right, where's the trail going? This way. Follow the trail. Alan's haters are powerful. Okay, it seems like the music is calming down. Why hadn't my writer ever told me he had a semi-evil twin brother? All right, I'm pausing. Yes. He does. Apparently, Logan has something he wants to show on stream. Sh sure. Oh, wow. Did you just finish this? Yes. Holy cow. Let's take a look at. Wow. Logan's working hard on his summer break. Hold on, let me let it 
There you go. Now you can see it. Beautiful. Is this a Pokestop? It's a Pokemon Center. It's a Pokemon and Center. And by the way, how the Pokemon yeah, show get me. in, mm -hmm. we... It controls. Oh, wow. That's an awesome way to get in. And which Pokemon are here? Can you show me? There's Chansey. Oh, pick them up so everybody can see. Chansey. Nice. His tail kind of got broken off. Okay, that's all right. It happens. Oh, don't push him down too hard. Just leave him in there for right now. There's Eevee, which okay, I Okay, Eevee's can. over here. Uh-huh. Right. There's Pikachu. Yeah. In through the window. You can probably see through the window. Yep, yep. We got a, we got a Pika right back there. And who else? Dope Pika. Right in there. The and front. a Togepi right up there in the front. This looks incredible. Well done. What a cool project. Give me a big hug. Aw, oh, you hear everybody clapping for you? Yeah. Good job, big guy. Love you. Love you, too. Yay, summer break. Let's hear it for summer break, folks. Summer break and the projects we work on on summer break. And also, yay, Pokemon. That was a very sweet surprise from my little man. Very cute. Uh, now in something entirely different. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for the applause for little man, too. That's really sweet of you. Thank you. Woo! Bobberty, welcome back, and thank you. He is an awesome kiddo. All right. He must be waiting until our third or fourth date surrounded by candles so he could reveal this vulnerable chapter from the dramatic story of his emotionally troubled past oh that man has more layers than a croissant more layers than a croissant folks okay control yes okay here we go i oh i mean i do have Lots of uh, shotgun ammo, which is, pr I mean, I have some rifle ammo too. Let me see, is it gonna let me quick slot? Here we go, baby. Thank you. All right, I what else can I quick these slot? Monsters continue to plague my dear writer with their negativity. I would treat them the same way I treat trolls on my fan site, but this time okay. I was banning them from life. It shouldn't say the gong show. Now I should be able to do this to switch my guns. guns. I'm going to reload before I forget. She said my gun's hungry. The motorcycle tracks ended at a cabin. Was my rider inside? There, I'm just a frail rider, and I require aid. <gasps> He's inside. Um, I'm just a frail little rider, and I require aid, y'all. It definitely seems like it's a trap. I'm here. I've come to save you. Oh, joy. We can finally be together and sit through big poetry readings and drink $18 cocktails and have high tea with the queen. Wait a minute. My rider only drinks coffee. Two uh, sugars, no milk. I keep all the box. Okay. No more tricks. I'll be waiting upstairs. Life is not unlike a highway. Muscles don't cry, they sweat. Um, and he said, I'll be waiting upstairs. Okay. FS Duke, thank you for the resub. Said I'm here for the gaming and Nintendo content. Amazing. Someone that works on a bike is here. Running with wolves seems like a dangerous hobby. Becoming the alpha. Everything you need to know to lead your wolf pack like a true alpha by TJ Wolf. Okay, there's nothing on the TV. Whoever this is, is upstairs. It's got to be a trap. It's not real. Hmm. I guess writing doesn't run in the family. Brothers, the moon can only shine when the sun is gone. 
The night can only come when the day is done. Can the sea ever meet the ocean? All right, strange. I can't see anything and I don't have a flashlight. I'd really like one though. Um, hello? Where are you? I was never upstairs. I lied when I said there were no more tricks. Ooh, you're starting to peeve me off, mister. Where is my writer? I'm just having a little fun. Let's chat down at the beach. Okay. First, he kidnaps my writer. Then he calls him a tea drinker. How dare. He had crossed the line. Torture ideas to for hack brother. And give this jerk the scolding of a lifetime. Car battery, solid potential. Pulling fingernails, too messy. The bell, where do I get a bell? Blunt spoon, nice and simple. Dismantle typewriters, A plus psychological damage. Gasoline fire, fire might burn my cabin down. Maybe overcomplicating this. Oh no. Okay, it's too, the okay, he said, he was down at the beach, down at the beach out back. So out back would be, no, we came in that way. Out back would be this way. Where are you at the beach? Not this beach, this beach. Okay, thank you, sign, for being very clear. I mean, at least they keep me very well stocked on ammo and such. Should I just shoot him from here? We need to talk to him first. We need hey, the intel. Me and my bike were just enjoying the view. Where is my rider? What do you even see in that crybaby? He's boring, he dresses like a nerd. Hush your mouth! He is a stylish intellectual who is in touch with his feelings. You're starting to cramp my style, babe. And I'm not telling you where he is. Tell me or else. Well, let's say, why are you doing this? What did he ever do to you? I, uh, already told you that at the boatyard. I feel overshadowed by success, like he's taken everything I can compete. Oh, right. <laughs> I remember now. It's a uh, self confidence. The delivery of these uh, lines is hilarious, too. Well, it's a bit more complicated than that. You are going to tell me where he is or else. Or else what, babe? You asked for it. You are rude. You have no manners. No, we your can't see her face. Your attitude is attractive initially, but drives people away after they realize you're emotionally incapable of letting your walls down to reveal that you are a vulnerable human being just like everybody else. You are trying way too hard with that outfit. You no, stop. I don't like <laughs> being seen. Listen, I never had your precious writer. I was just keeping you distracted while my army of haters storms this mansion. Now the love of your life is doomed. Doomed! No. <laughs> no! Okay, what is the wolf? He tricked her. Even famously keen perception. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wrong guy. Reload, Rose. 
takes about three shotgun shots to take them down. Oh, he threw two in a row. Oh, I hate these dudes. Nice. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Look at her just covered in blood. Oh, Rose. I knew you, my number one fan, would never fall victim to my twisted brother's lies. His hatred for me is as inexplicable as the sunrise. And just as fiery. But I knew your heart would never waver. You're the only one who can save me. I believe in you. Yeah, why is Alan a stag? What the what? My writer believed in me. We were kindred spirits. We fit together like a bicycle chain and that spiky wheel thing the chain fits into. We were connected by love and destiny. He was meant to be mine, always and forever. There was no time to lose. I was the only one who could save the writer and the very soul of literature from these evil haters. The fate of all art rested on my shoulders. Hey. The stakes had never been higher. Follow the bad boy's trail and talk to the bad boy. I mean, this is it. If I have to stop you myself, I will. Unlike him, I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. Sir, is that a threat? Ooh, defeat the bad boy. Okay, ma'am, get up. Wait, what? What? That's a heart? A heart attack is coming for me? That's what he got me with before. Some kind of heart attack. Aw, oh, you jerk. No, I can't shoot him. Oh, I hit him in the head that time at least. Can I outrun those things? I don't think I can. The power of love goes both ways. Ah! His honing missile hearts. How am I supposed to get away from them? Robust says shoot the hearts. Okay. Thank you for the shoot the hearts. So I'm just gonna throw some 
Yeah, that is it. That's it. Uh, shoot the hearts. They take a few shots, then shoot Scratch. That's a nightmare, Rose. There was no time to lose. I was the only one who could save the writer and the very soul of literature from these evil haters. The fate of all art rested on my shoulders. Okay, now I'm ready to go with the shotgun the at least. Had never been higher. Can I just shoot him <laughs> right now? If I have to stop you myself, I will. Unlike him, I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. So I guess you have to get hit by those in the beginning. Because they like go to the side of you. I don't even know if I'm hitting him because I don't know where he is. Hey, sir. Well, if I'm going to finish this today, I'm obviously going to have to change the difficulty because holy crap. <laughs> Cyclone says, I just keep running and dodging and then shoot scratch when I could. Yeah, Rose doesn't really run is what I've learned. Even when I think I'm hitting run, like, look, she's walking. She's running. That's not really running, ma'am. That's like... A light jog, like someone just asked for a refill on coffee. <laughs> yeah. The stakes had never been higher. If I have to stop you myself, I will. Unlike him, I'm not afraid. I'm gonna back up because I know right away he just throws three hearts at my face. Difficulty swings in this game between normal and story are out of control. Finish me off. I'm not going to kill you. You're my darling writer's brother. You really do love him, huh? I guess I never even had a chance. I was just jealous of his talent, his money, his velvety hair, but mostly. 
that he's got the love of somebody as amazing as you. Wow. Wow. Oh, you silly werewolf. You could have all those things too. You just need to stop wanting to be him and start wanting to be you. Your words have shown me that it wasn't my brother I hated. It was myself. Oh, what have I done? Those haters will tear him apart, and it's all my fault. Please, go save him. Oh, I intend to. Nope, you can't shoot him. I tried, Rob. It won't let you. The game will not let you shoot him. Sadly. Okay, let me make sure everything's... Okay, it looks like there's a pickup over here and a pickup over there. Not that I need them because I don't have any more inventory slots, but. Okay. Hi, Tie-Dye Moon. How are you today? They don't let you shoot him because Rose is better than that. You're right, Tang Shade X. Okay. I guess I should switch to the shotgun if we're doing some indoor combat. This is where Rose's shrine to him was. Gun. Anything else in here? Yes. For contributions to art and artistry across the globe, the recipient is hereby granted as a champion of literature who embodies all the spiritual and physical qualities valued in one, pursues the art of writing. Okay. Here we go. I mean, there's a lot of pickups. I guess we have to go upstairs. Anybody else? This was Ati's room before. Okay, let's keep going. Still talking. Oh, this person. <laughs> Anybody else? Looks like there's something going on with these books. Weird. Oh, I can still go upstairs. Okay. Get out of here. Oh, there's so many. Phew! Okay, this was the Ati room, the spiral room. That writer isn't going to kill. Or no, Ati was protecting the spiral room. Here we are, here we are. Their love scene. And there he was. After all the fighting, we were finally alone. She's just covered in together. blood. Our love was written in the stars. And so we danced like two spinning planets that would eventually crash into each other in a dazzling display of flames and rocks and other planet stuff. Other planet he stuff. He told me all the sweet things I've been waiting a lifetime to hear. I saw myself reflected in his eyes. I would always be at his side. 
to inspire and protect him. Oh, the dip we saw he from her me now fanfic. And forever. After all, I am his number one fan. Yep, Rose. Okay, that's the end of episode one. Can the object of her joy come together against the world trying to keep them apart? A happy ending for some. But is happiness like beauty all in the eye of the beholder? Where is the line between fandom and fixation? One can never tell in Night Springs. This is so bizarre and so remedy, and I'm here for it. Love always wins. Space invader, looking cute in a human suit. Secret agents with the down down wrist they shoot. I love the music. Rob, you think this is weirder than WandaVision? This is, I mean, I would agree to weirder than WandaVision, but very different weird. Just wait for episode three. I'm so here for it. By the way, while we're jamming out to music, in case anyone did not get the code for the giveaway this week, it's Dragon Rider spelled with a zero instead of an O. There's only one for the whole week, so if you already got it, you're good. But if you didn't get it yet, that's it. This is why Alan Wake is so good. Yeah. Steph Too Dope, agreed. Hi, Johnson. A solar system in your soup. Ryan O, the code is Dragon Rider with a zero instead of an O. And that's for the giveaway. If you want to know about the giveaway, use command giveaway in chat. I love it. I don't know if it just keeps looping, but I love it. I'm way into that. Episode two, North Star. Young woman on a mission to save a missing loved one. Desperately trying to stay one step ahead of the shadowy government agents hunting her. Agents from the very same agency that took the only person she cares about. On her quest, she is guided by her mysterious alien guardian angel. Hmm. Her guiding star shows her the way, as it always has. She does not know what strangeness awaits her. Hi, Kenny Who. She follows its unwavering light to the small town... Okay, we get to play as Jesse Faden. Tonight's dreamlike episode, North Star. Again, teleplay by Alan Wake. This is gonna get strange. There's no helping it. The universe is much deeper and weirder than people know. My brother and I know. We've seen it. We've seen you, but there are some people, an agency, that doesn't want anyone knowing more than what they see. That's why they took my brother mm -hmm. and have been chasing me my whole life. But I can't keep running. Chasing me my whole life. So does that mean in this version of events, she's not the director of the FBC? Yeah, different parallel version of Jesse Faden, I guess. Weird. Maybe this is before control? Okay, we need a three-digit code. Let's find it. 
Join the percolation. Ha ah, ha ha ha. Admissions. You think something here's important? What, the numbers? Oh, thank you, that wasn't obvious. Maybe it's like a pattern of some sort. Yeah, 33 each time. Well, no. 33 plus 33 plus 5. Uh, let's see. Oh, here's more over here. You'll bet the code is 666. <laughs> yeah, it's 33 and then 33. But look, on the admissions, oh, that's the first side of it. I'm only doing the second side. Closed until further notice. The green glow is around 238. Is that supposed to be my best friend? Or they said I have like something helping me? Let's see, let's just see. All right, it is. My helper. I've never been able to track down the government agency that took my brother. Until now. You helped me find this place. Now you'll help me get him back. Right. Hello? Is anybody here? There are people here. But I don't have like a flashlight or anything. Indeed. Okay, it says the tasting room is this way. That's probably the way it wants me to go. Just gonna follow the bad guys. Okay, I've got batteries, which means there should be a flashlight at some point. Coffee world! I don't know where we're supposed to be going though. I'm just following the light as best I can. Why does an amusement park need a welcome center? No tape. I don't have time to sit around watching movies anyway. Aw, oh, come on, but I love the movies. Hearing them talk is so creepy. I'm just going from light source to light source because I can't really see anything. backtracking just trying to go to the part where I can see at least follow the bad guys I hope I'm not backtracking yeah oh okay here let's go in here the gazebo you think there's something there oh hey it's sheriff breaker here get inside the light oh they don't like the light okay let's you shouldn't see be here how did you even get inside Shit, a cop. Should I lie? I kind of let myself in. You got more than you bargained for, huh? Um, I'm looking for someone. I'm looking for someone. My brother. Have you seen anybody? Well, only if you count those monsters. I'm sorry, ma'am. They've been abducting people from Night Springs, too. I'm here to get them back home. But now it's time you left. It's not safe here. What were those shadow things? What's going on here? What are those shadow people? Well, that's what I'm here trying to figure out. The government's been putting something in the coffee. Oh! Turning people into coffee monsters. The government? Is this the same government agency that's been chasing me all these years? 
Something in the coffee. Something in the coffee is doing this? Really? It took me a while to wrap my head around it, too. At first, I thought... Well, I don't know what I thought. But now it's clear. This is deep state science. Ah. Huh. I'm not going anywhere until I find my brother. I respect that. There's a warehouse just past the park. It's locked up tight, has some fancy government security system, but the intercom is busted. I figure that's where they're keeping our missing folks. There's a, a spare pistol and flashlight on the bench. I'd feel better if you took them. Thanks. Those monsters don't do well with light. And whatever you do, do not drink the coffee. This whatever you do, easier. do not drink the coffee. Okay, now let's see what this stuff is. Staff memo. Please be aware that there will be some changes due to new management. Starting immediately, Coffee World will only open at night. This will allow us to draw in new customers. All staff should be pushing our brand new dark as the void blend. On that note, tomorrow we will have a special tasting party for staff. Attendance is mandatory. Please bring your friends. Creepy. Missing person. Have you seen me? Jacob Flemson, age 52. Last seen hiking at Night Springs National Park. On the 18th of September, the reporting party advised that her partner, Jacob Flemson, was last seen leaving for Night Springs National Park at approximately 11.30 a.m. Flemson was wearing a dark shirt with a rock band logo, flannel overshirt, and navy jeans. If found, please contact the Night Springs Sheriff Department. Dark Triangle Coffee proudly presents Night Under the Stars. The nights may be cold, but the coffee is hot. This week, Coffee World will only be open at night. Bring your family, friends, children, anyone you know for fun under the stars. Join us. Join the percolation. Okay. Well, here we are. Okay, so that's my melee. That's my flashlight. Probably shouldn't have just wasted those batteries, but that's okay. Just getting the hang of things. Now, where did it say I have to go? Check out that warehouse the sheriff mentioned. The warehouse. Let's look you at the map. Me? Good to hear. Okay. So here, the percolator, the welcome center. So we're right here at this gazebo. Slow roaster, latte lagoon, tasting room. That's the warehouse. Coffee warehouse. So I need to hang left through the roasting bar and up. So I think that's this way. I could be totally going the wrong way. Here's the tasting room. Oh, there's no map I can reference. Okay, here we go. Oh, the tasting room. So I need to be going just south of this. know what was happening there can anyone else who's played this before or maybe it's just something i've forgotten since alan wake don't you flashlight them then you can shoot them i flashlit them and still couldn't shoot them not drink the coffee so i'm not really sure what happened there okay where's the flashlight Okay, it looks like maybe that's the direction I need to go based on my friendo. Cyclone says they stay shadowy even after you flashlight them. Just keep firing till they drop after you hit them with the light. It takes a lot of bullets. And the sh I remember that the shadow armor can grow back. But that's why I was like, is, does it just keep coming back? Is that what's happening here? How do I get down there? 
Here we go. Steps. take a lot of bullets. Get inside. Hello? Sorry, I lost it. Please insert passkey. Oh, fucking machine. Passkey invalid. <laughs> Submit to security questions for authorization. Sure. Sure. <laughs> What's the question? What kind of question is that? That is incorrect. <laughs> um, find the orientation video. Guess we need to find that orientation video. Telling me where to go to get to the orientation video? Because that'd be real confusing, like. Okay, I don't know. I am going to, however, quick slot all my stuff. Okay, that's all pretty good so far. Okay. Oh, orientation video. Where could you be? In the porta potty? No. I mean, the Welcome Center, we passed the Welcome Center before. So I guess we could go back that way. Not the tasting room. Oh, okay, I already got that. Sheriff, do you know where this hey. welcome video is? Well, I'm glad to see you're okay. A videotape was missing from the welcome center. I think the password I need is on it. You haven't seen it, have you? Yeah, I've seen it. But that tape is chock full of government brainwashing. I watched a bit and it... It was doing something to me. It's dangerous. Oh, no. You can't watch that tape. Okay. I need that videotape, Sheriff. Well, this is exactly how they get you. But fine. If you really want it, I hid it in the Ferris wheel, cup number four. You'll need this key. Don't say I didn't warn you. Ferris wheel, cup number four. I'm sure there's going to be oodles of bad guys there. Healed myself up a bit. Is 
I mean, that's the Ferris wheel. That's what he said, right? He said Ferris wheel, cup number four. Okay, how do I get up there? anything. <laughs> flare, please. Can I just get a flare? For the love of all that is holy. What are they saying? They're usually whispering things about the dark place or Alan or Scratch. All right. I guess the slow roaster is the Ferris wheel, and it looks like we could either go through the tasting room or around the way I was going before. I'm gonna try to go through the tasting room this time. What was the air horn for? <laughs> Were we trying to jump scare or was it something else? I am trying to focus, y'all. Okay. So I reloaded. Man, Rose. The pills healed her all the way, but maybe that was because I changed the difficulty. Again, in the interest of finishing this today, I gotta do it. They might be saying wake. Oh, yeah, this is the... throwing stuff at me. Okay, I need number four. How do I turn this on? Ferris wheel control key, okay. For a movie? I am up for a movie. I like the weird movies. Thank you 
very much. Again, not really sure what all that's referring to. It probably is some kind of like alphabet and spells something out. I just don't know what it is. All right, I think I'm just gonna go back through the way that I came so I don't get lost. The Welcome Center. Here we go. Join us. Make the world coffee. All right. Dark Triangle Coffee, that's the symbol! Fast-growing company with ambitions to sweep the nation and eventually the globe. <laughs> that's the thermos. World beverages. Drawn by our coffee's distinctive flavor and our unique beans, people are rushing to join the Dark Triangle movement. The company's mission statement is simple. To drink the truth there. is to be That's what we need. One. To drink the truth. Now we can move away. Hey, what is... Something is... Something is... Sheriff Breaker did warn us. You need to... What we needed. A fourth word of the mission statement. Truth. Okay, I saw the movie, man. Let's get back to that warehouse. That video was doing something to me. If you hadn't been there, what would have happened? What is this agency trying to do here? Control people? Seems like Why? it. Why? What's their plan? What if my brother has already been... No, I didn't come all this way to lose him now. What is this agency trying to do? Control people? Astro Banshee? Yes. You and I are thinking the same thing, my friend. Okay, no, I gotta go down this way. Through the roasting bar. This way. The warehouse. Please recite the fourth word of Dark Triangle Coffee's mission statement as seen in our orientation video. Truth. Oh, no! 180, 200, or I'm not a barista. <laughs> uh, 100, uh, 200. 200. That is incorrect. Ah, try again, try again. Rob says let's try 180. I'm going to do it. 180? That is incorrect. Also incorrect. So I guess we just have to say I'm not a barista. Please recite the optimal roasting temperature for dark triangle coffee beans in Fahrenheit. I'm not a fucking barista. That is <laughs> Coffee beans in Fahrenheit. 
None of those answers is correct. So maybe we need to find something else before we can answer it. 180? Ah, uh, we don't have the answer, yeah. Okay. All right, well, I assume we have to go to the roasting room maybe to figure that out. The optimal roasting temperature. You don't have to know, do you? Didn't think so. <laughs> Become new. Join us. Uh -oh. I don't think it said it in the welcome video. I'll ask the sheriff if he knows. And if not, we'll go to the tasting room. Welcome back. Yep. No? No dialogue options. Okay. Optimal roasting temperature. Yeah, the pour over coffee symbol looks like the cult of the triangle and the cult of the word. A tasting room? Sheriff said not to drink this stuff. up a little. Maybe the roasting center, not the tasting room. Dun, dun, dun. Ah, jump scare. there's still things chasing me. That's the warehouse. I'm just trying to find stuff now. Oh, remember that well? I sure do. Oh boy. Okay. Woo! Okay. I've loitered in enough coffee shops to recognize a roasting machine. Here we Let's go. Check this out. Angles of triangle, prime numbers crossed out. One, two, one, two, four, three. Okay. Okay, Un so the temperature is higher than. Optimal this roasting is. temperature, which is greater than the sum of our triangle. Uncover the mysterious and ineffable essence behind every cup of Dark Triangle's unique roast. More than the sum of its parts. Greater than the sum of our triangle. So greater than 180. If we mean like 
I don't know. It's very confusing. Like, some of those could mean length and diameter. The only numbers I hear on here are the 60. Yeah, if they're talking about the angles, that would be 180 for the triangle. The first digit of our optimal roasting temperature is half of the second. And the third one is one less than the one before. So would that be, yeah, coffee at its prime. The optimal roasting temperature time. for dark triangle coffee time. is below 500 degrees what Fahrenheit. Time number? 500 is also the number of light years between Earth and planet X13. Okay. So it looks like it's probably the second number on here. 243. guess they only hire mathematicians here. But it didn't say that's what this code was. That was just the optimal roasting temperature. So let's see again. Greater than the sum of our triangle. So it's greater than 180. Oh, that's why it couldn't be... Greater than 180, but less than 500. First digit is half of the second. And third digit is one less. So it's not 243. It could be 365 or 487. 365 or 487. And then... I'll try either of those, I guess. Three, six, five. Hmm. That doesn't seem right. Four, eight, seven. I think that works. Four, eight, seven. Four hundred and eighty-seven. Who knew geometry would actually come in handy? Okay, four eighty-seven it is. Now we gotta go back to the warehouse. And eighty-seven. That is correct. Further verification oh. required. Uh -huh. Come on. Try the coffee. I don't want to drink your coffee. I don't want to drink your damn coffee. <laughs> Try the coffee. Try the coffee. Hey, that's tasting room that's time. Be a problem. But I can't stop now. You'll keep me safe, right? She thinks her brother's here. Tasting room. Here goes nothing. Try the coffee. I'm trusting you. Huh. That wasn't so. <gasps> Shit. There is definitely something wrong with this coffee. I knew I could count on you. That fucking door better open now. Oh no, breaker? Down here, that's where he is. Um... Where'd you go, man? Oh no. I 
thought Breaker was in trouble. Oh, here. Are you all right, Sheriff? I heard gunshots. Yeah, no, I'm fine. I was looking for you when one of those things jumped me. Got a little bit of coffee in my mouth, but I spit it out. Okay. Should be fine. But listen, I figured something out. Yeah? What did you figure out? Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, yeah, it's nothing. Those government bastards will never get me. <laughs> but it, it's not just the government. No. There's something else here. I, I, I don't know what it is, but it's... You need to get your brother and get out of here as soon as you can. Promise me. Yeah. I promise, Sheriff. Good. That's good. I'm just gonna catch my breath here a minute. I'm you don't look okay, man. <sighs> okay, I tried the coffee. I did. I tried the coffee. You are coffee. <laughs> oh no. You may enter. Welcome. Coffee. You are coffee. Oh no! What the fuck are those things? Oh, it's coming this way. You're a rogue what? bean. To keep people out? Are in. No. Oh no. Oh, I'm dead. Oh no. Bad thermos. Okay, we gotta find a key clearly to get in that door. Oh, I still have my gun. Okay, give away the gun. A new I may enter. Come hey, Varian. Welcome. We are building an army. Ready? Well, Thank you so saying. much for using your Prime sub here. Super appreciate it. Welcome to the Dragon Riders. Did it just say a new blend is upon us? It definitely did. Okay, we're going to come in here. We're going to see this creeper. Instant death coffee. Dark triangle coffee, but it is instant death. Okay. What the fuck are those things? I have locked the inner door as they instructed. No one will get past without the blessing. I must hide the key, my final task, perhaps on my desk near the entrance as a farewell to my old life. All right, I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting killed immediately. But desk near the entrance, we learn. Next run, desk near the entrance. Instant death, coffee's an offhand of liquid death. You know, it could be, Paladin. And yes, Rob, this is incredibly weird, but... It's a wacky Wednesday, so I said we were gonna get weird today. All right, I give up my weapon, begrudgingly. You may enter. Welcome. Coffee. Ready? Well, I'd love okay. 
So I don't know if he always goes to the left first or if he's been going to the left because I go to the left. What the fuck are those things? Okay, come to the left. It must have been a different guy. Because Percolator guy was going the other way. Oh, don't run. He'll hear you. Okay, that's a good tip. Guys, if there was a horror movie in real life, I would be so bad at it. I would run every time and get murdered every time. Well, can you blame me for running? It's scary. What the fuck are those things? Okay. Come over here, you creeper. Okay, I'm not gonna run. Probably worth holding on to. Now where is he? Right there. Where's he going? Can he see? Hmm. Or can he just hear? Okay, he turned around. Now I know there's another one. Game save, door shut. Let's hear for that. Yes. They can see end here. They can both. I have done their bidding, packaged their coffee, and brought the people to Coffee World to share in their blessing. They say I am almost ready. Oh, no. Take it. Don't be rude. Sheriff. How'd you get in here? How'd you get in here? Coffee time is family time. <laughs> it's the it's best part of the day. Hey, snap out of it. Coffee solves all your problems. It lowers heart disease and leads to higher life expectancy. Fuck. I'm so sorry, Sheriff. I'm gonna have to shoot you. I need to find my brother. He has to be okay. I wonder if Remedy's ever gonna make the, uh, what's this, dark, dark triangle coffee thermos. Like, I have the Oh Dear Diner thermos, but maybe they'll make this thermos too. Coffee beans are actually the seeds of coffee berries. The berries are sometimes referred to as coffee cherries. <laughs> coffee cherries, yeah, you got it. Whoa, look at this. What? 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 Have you ever seen anything like this? What? Yes, Jesse Faden is in the Alan Wake 2 DLC. Oh, this look this shot looks very control. Is it the hiss? It is the hiss! Maybe it's not the hiss. It doesn't look like the hiss. It's just levitating Alan. Alan's your brother? Interesting. 
conspiracy within a conspiracy. How can one expose a lie when the truth exists beyond our wildest imagination? Who can ever truly know how deep the rabbit hole goes in Night Springs? Oh, it's the same song as before. Okay, I actually am going to do a quick BRB to go to the restroom, but I'll let you guys jam out to the song until I get back. Be right back in a moment, folks. Welcome back, everybody. Jamming out to Night Springs. We've got one episode left to check out today. And honestly, we could all speculate what this means, right? Now, Night Springs is like a Twilight Zone-esque spinoff series. So it's not total fact. It's not the same universe. Like, Jesse was not the head of the FBC. It was just like taking the story of Jesse and mixing it in with Alan Wake. So I don't know that like these episodes confirm anything that's canon. We're just kind of like messing around. Okay, Tang Shadex says episode three might give us some answers. So let's go ahead and get back into episode three. Time Breaker. We often look back and wonder, what if? What if the path not taken had in fact been our charted course? Would we be happier? Or are we, with our set of choices behind us, the lucky ones? And what if nothing would be different? What if for some of us, our destiny across the endless number of versions of ourselves has been defined and locked beyond any causality of circumstance, beyond the forces in any one reality? but across all realities. For one man, the magnetic pull of destiny is so great it breaks time and space. We join this lone operative, many versions of him in fact, as he chases his nemesis, a dangerous being known as the master of many worlds. Across the multiverse, across the many versions of a city that is always the same, yet always different, in Night Springs. All right. Tonight's reality bending episode, Time Breaker. Again, teleplay by Alan Wake. No matter how many parallel realities I need to brave, how many lives, how many versions of me it takes, I will stop it. <laughs> and I will come back for you, my love. And cut. Everyone 
one, take five. Zane? Is it Director Zane? Was that okay? I mean, I can do more. I can do less. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, <laughs> it's Sam Sean, Lake. I'm really happy. Let's talk. Wait, Sean, that's his real name. I love your instinct on this, but we can still push this further. Immerse ourselves into this story. Believe in it. Make it crazier, wilder. Ba, 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 ba. This is da, da, da. so meta right now. <laughs> what? This is so bizarre. I really hope these are like other people that worked on the game. Let's dive in. You wanted to talk? It's awesome to be doing this with you again, Sam. Sean, it's so good to have you back. We've been dreaming about this for so long, and now, finally, we are making Timebreaker, the video game. It's happening. Yeah, and FMV as well. That's so cool. Of course. That was part of the previous game as well. Okay, I can't stop smiling. I love this so much. I'd like to talk about my character, just get deeper into the lore. Hey, I could talk about this for days. He's a multiversal agent, goes by many names as there are many versions of him. Breaker, Branch, others. He's searching for his lost love while his ruthless nemesis, Dor, oh, the master Dor. of many worlds, is murdering versions of him across parallel realities. Okay. He must track down and stop Dor. That's so cool. You've done cool superhero roles in the past. Long term, the agent will grow into the ultimate iconic superhero. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. About my gadget. So the vortex and the gadget. I'm Sorry, I keep forgetting its name. There's there's just so many acronyms here. But it helps me travel through realities. Acronyms are cool, right? Like tiny mysteries. You power up your PRS, polyhedron reality shifter, <laughs> with an SEN shifter energy node to activate a LumiVista TV and ride the vortex between realities. It's all REC, Ripple Effect Corporation Tech. And you have a gun and a TPS, Time Breaker Solidifier, to defend yourself. <laughs> right, yeah. You clearly have your own vision um, of the multiverse. The right vision, the truth, it's all out there. That's where these ideas and inspirations come from. They seep true. Somewhere this year, a stalking is part of the video game, and another version of you is playing it. Somewhere, your character, the agent, is real, and he could appear here through a portal any time now. Right. Yeah, yeah, right, Sam. <laughs> you are a maniac, man. Totally. Okay. So, um, what do we shoot next? We need to set up for the next scene, where your nemesis pulls you into a parallel reality. You can go to your green room, chill out, learn the lines. I left the latest draft of the screenplay for you there. See you in a bit. Cool. Can't wait. Okay. Sometimes it's hard to tell if Sam's joking. That deadpan Finnish humor. And a reputation of being a bit out there. I picked up a weird vibe when he talked about the multiverse. Poison Pill Entertainment looks surprisingly like the Remedy R. And yes, as Tang Shade X pointed out, Poison Pill is the opposite of Remedy. It's all connected, my friends. It's very dark back here. 
You should have everything you need in your green room. Okay, where's my green room? Maybe this way? Ooh. No. This is your end. What the fuck was that? Hello? Oh no! What the fuck is this? I thought I'd gone mad. Then I realized Sam was playing a crazy prank on me. There's no way this was real. The TBS, Time Breaker Solidifier. Real the body and the props looked. So we got another one of you, huh? Too late again. Excuse me? Hi, Jesse. <laughs> no, th this is just, it's a prank. It's just a prank. Wait, are you? Shit. You're not Branch. Oh, no, 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 no. What? No, no, no. He finally got it. Are, are you cast in this game, too? Listen to me. There are things you need to know. You are in great danger. You must do exactly what I tell you. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? I blanked out and I was suddenly someplace else. I'd had gaps in my memory before, but... That's the movie star lifestyle for you. Is this Cauldron Lake? This was something else entirely. Where are we? The last thing I remembered was the red-headed woman at the door. She looked familiar. She was trying to tell me something, and then it went dark. It felt like a dream. <laughs> think, 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 man. I need to get out of here. A psychotic episode? Or was the multiverse true after all? Did Sam do this? An elaborate hoax? Off the wall, method acting reality show. It had gone way too far. Okay, okay. Yeah, let's let's go with that. Act like this is true. Okay? I'm an actor. I can do this. And once it's over, we'll have a good laugh. And then I will punch Sam in the face. Okay. <laughs> Danger. Night Spring City Park Parallel Reality Bleed Zone. Cross-dimensional anomaly, no trespassing. Authorized REC personnel only. I wonder if this is going to tie back in. Like, remember... Remember in Alan Wake 2 when there's, like, scribbles of, like, polyhedro, red, polyhedral, red-headed woman on random stuff? Maybe, as Breaker right now, we'll be the one to write that stuff down. Oh, because it all so. goes full circle! to find an energy <laughs> node and use this rod thing with it, the PRS, was it? And look for some kind of TV to get the hell out of here. It's all a bit, well not full circle, it's a spiral. That's what we learned. It's a spiral. I love these games so much. No, no, no. Door's coming. He knows where I am. Full of booze out. Door's coming. He knows about the trailer. I need to hide the energy. I need to get it away from the trailer. Away from the TV. No! Can't! No! Oh my god. Oh my god! I wasn't certain this was a prank anymore. I heard a voice in my head. It sounded like me. Insanely. I heard the thoughts of another version of me, the one living here. The trailer was his. I'd check it out. Don't think, just act. Where's the trailer? Find the energy node. I don't see a trailer down there. I'm just gonna keep following where the boxes are. We were before. I, the sign looks the same, but can I just keep running in the water? 
water, maybe? I mean, I vaguely remember this part of the map from the original game, but it's much harder in the dark. I'm all turned around. Okay, we got that. Turn around in the woods. Alright, I'm just gonna backtrack, I guess. Because unless I can go through here, I don't know which other ways to go. And I have no map from what I can see. I have no. Another path to follow down here, I guess. No, that's a dead end. Look for a forest path and stick to it. I mean, that's what I did. This is the forest path. but you can't get any further down this forest path because of that. The path doesn't go anywhere else. That's where it goes. Like if I go in here, I can run through the water, but then eventually I get stopped here by this log. Can't go any further that way. I'll just backtrack a while and see if there's a split in the road somewhere. I could try to go, like, just with the water. No, that's going to be a dead end there. Let's try the other way. Well, I'll just keep going backwards. another path? No. Backtracking, backtracking. Okay, we did not go up or down steps, so I guess let's try that. Is this the trailer? It looks like a trailer to me. Lumafista TV. According to what Sam had said, I needed the energy the other me had hidden away from this trailer. Yeah, this is just like the clicker and Alan. But I don't have it yet. It's finally nice to just be able to see. Oh, hi. The handwriting was mine. Paranoid theories about the multiverse and door. The master of many worlds. This is where we saw the scribbles about the redhead women woman in Alan Wake. I hear their thoughts when they die. The energy node was out there in the forest somewhere. I was wasting time. I had to go look what for are her. they hiding? I must find her again. Am I the chosen one? Must break through. Killing us not dead. Something worse broken. Because one of us is the chosen one. Who can stop him or place him? Who is the master of many worlds? Darling's book. He's pulling the strings. I must hide from him. 
door me, another me, someone else who wrote this. String theory, multiverse. Why is he after me? After us, he's coming. Polyhedrons. Polyhedrons are the what? What do we say? Polyhedrons are the key. This almost this exact board, but a little different, exists within Alan Wake. You are here in the spiral. <gasps> Shut up. Okay, so the node exists out in the forest somewhere, is what he just said. Find the energy node. All the way in the waterfall. I know where that is. The fuck away from here before door zeroes in on me. I'll make it. I'm the chosen one out of all of the versions. Me. Yes. Yes. He's hidden the energy node at the creek in the forest. I have to find it. Am I going backwards? I hope not. I think I'm going the right way. Waterfall is not here. You got to keep going. This is the right way. Here we go. Waterfall's up here. You said this episode is the most bonkers ones. Oh, look at that. There. It's a polyhedral. was charged now. I had to get back to the trailer and the TV. Yep. I knew the bad guys were gonna come. You can't escape. I don't see anything. This shit. Oh no, that's another me. I thought it was just it was the plot of the real. video game, but it was all real. Door, Door the master of the many master worlds. Of many worlds was murdering versions of the agent, played by me. Versions of myself. It's all true. It's no hoax. No video game. It's really happening really happening I was lost in the multiverse I had to become the role to survive be the agent I had to get back to the trailer and the TV use my PRS on it the door would be coming for me next I didn't want to face him fuck that but I couldn't shake the feeling that it was inevitable use the PRS the polyhedral reality shift on the TV to get out I felt a strange pull from the vortex on the screen. I was afraid that wherever it would take me, I was gonna run into this door person. But I couldn't stay here either. All right, I guess we're going. Here we go. Ah, we're in the Ocean View Hotel. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no. This is how we run into Breaker in so many different places, and he disappears and stuff like that, and we didn't know how or why. Now we do? Okay, we're in the lobby. <laughs> Door is effectively scratched in this story. Should have reloaded first. They take five to six I was in shots. A different reality, but not better, worse. Maybe by thinking of Dor, I traveled closer to him, to where he was in control. Next time, I'd focus on something else. Entertainment Tango Coffee. Noon through to get three ready. nine. Two three nine. All right. Find another node, another TV.
Okay, where's something with a coat with a three-digit input? Is there a safe in here? 1239. I don't see anything else. I had it, to find the right version of the lobby in the right time when what I needed was there. Ah, I see. It's always the right time to visit Night Spring City's Ocean View Hotel. Thanks to our hotel's unique time anomaly, the time is up to you. Did you oversleep? Visit our morning lobby for the never-ending breakfast buffet. Craving one of our delicious signature cocktails? Stop by the 6 o'clock lobby, where happy hour is always in full swing. Just follow the clocks to the time of your choice. At the Ocean View Hotel, the right time is only a door away. Okay. Entertainment is noon, tango is three, coffee is nine. So here we go, coffee is nine. Um, danger, what's it say? Bleed zone, cross-dimensional, anomaly, no trespassing. More doors. Okay, now we're in it. broken here the corridors led to the same lobby but in different times okay what's in this office more stuff i mean at least they're heavy with the loot so if this is six that's not any of these it's not entertainment tango or coffee This is saying the same thing as it did before. Paint. So that's nine, 12, and three. So I guess we'll do three next. Or maybe I've got to go the way it's telling me to go. Whoa. Oh, I like the music. hotel was a strange place. It looped around like in a dream. Maybe there was logic to it. Finding the right route to get through. Three was tango. That's why we get the music. I'm okay without a tip right now, but thank you, Tank Shade X. Sounds like Ati. Is this Ati singing? So I did six already. I don't know if I did 12. I think I did nine already. More multiverse science babble. It gave me the creeps.
Nine is supposed to be coffee. But it says now we're in 12. A Luma Vista TV. Entertainment. I just needed energy to power it. I couldn't hear the thoughts of the other me. The one native to this reality. Maybe Dor had killed him already. Not a happy thought. No one a Poison Pill had mentioned they'd made a comic book of their game. But then, maybe Poison Pill didn't even exist in this reality. Maybe they didn't. I was in a comic book. Funny. Okay, here's the TV. But yeah, I don't I don't have a charge. I need to find where to get the charge. So I guess six is the one that I don't know what it is. So let's go to six to see if we can get a charge in six. The black and white's unsettling. It is a little, huh? That's why this is the entertainment lobby. Okay, now we're in six. Wait, I've been here before. Is this the one we came in on? It might be. Yeah, because I've already opened that. Okay. I mean, I guess let's just go straight. Coffee is nine. Okay, I've been in this one too. So I guess is noon the only one I didn't do yet? Or midnight, noon or midnight. I did that one too. That's the one with the TV. So we did all of them. Maybe there's an order. Maybe I have to do them in this order. 12, 3, 9. Let's try it. Okay, so we're going to go 12 and then 3. Now we're gonna go nine. Now this is all a straight line, interestingly enough. Yeah, there it is. The PRS was charged up. Now Great. I find my way back to the TV. Also, have we been in here yet? When I used the TV to travel between realities, I was thinking of door. And the vortex brought me here. Okay. Where the time breakers attacked me. Twelve was the one with the TV. Here we go. Are we in the comic book now? Something was different. Yes! 
I knew it! Strange feeling. Still, yet moving. Like frozen snapshots on a sequential path. And yet, thoughts flowing free. Like text read out loud. It's, it's you. I made it. Door pulled you away. Thought you were gone, for sure. I focused on you when I entered the vortex. I, I was trying to reach you. You are full of surprises. Okay. Let's try this out. So yeah, you notice she's got the jacket on. So, it's the Ripple Effect Corporation in the comic instead of the FBC. But she is the director, it seems. She's got the mug, she's got the jacket. So, this is the Jesse we know from Control, just in an alt universe. Welcome to the headquarters of the Ripple Effect Corporation. There it is. We were making a video game of the multiverse. But now it's suddenly real. Ah, T! Shout out, my real boy! Not real exists side by side in the multiverse. Echoes flow through it like currents in a cosmic ocean, the sea of night. Conceptual, fictional, real, more real than real. Many versions of us all in hidden interaction, linked by the energies that ripple through realities. One of you is killed in an explosion of dangerous energy, and another one instead gains superpowers. And yet another one meets an alien guardian angel. In one reality, we're not even real. Or as you say, characters in a video game. I love this so much. Bye, Jokester. Why is he after me? Who is Dor? There are legends about him going back further than we can trace. They say he found an opening to a horrifying parallel reality that consumed him, gave him access to all realities. The feedback loop killing all other versions of him. I am... On the threshold, Newman. A door everywhere. We don't know why, but he sees the versions of you as a threat. He's killing them, bringing them back as time breakers. We thought he was after Branch. Now I'm thinking he's been after you. Your lives fade apart. The master of many worlds. We came through the door. All right. What can I do? He must be stopped. He leaves dead realities in his way, and he is only picking up speed. I'm just an actor. You could have fooled me. You travel through realities with greater accuracy than anyone I've ever seen. Beyond door, even. You picked it up just like that. Finding the place that made him may be the key to killing him. That was our theory. But we could never find it. Maybe you can. Was there something between you and Branch? What you think you are feeling is just an echo. Some other version of us in some other lifetime. But maybe... You'll come back for me. Maybe. Wish me luck. Interesting. Luck is just an echo of an event carried over from another reality. Hmm. 
Okay, a little breaker, Jesse Faden romance, maybe. I was an REC agent. This was my mission now. I focused on him. The darkness, the entropy, door. The master of many worlds. It also makes me think we'll see him in control too. I think Sheriff Breaker is going to be a main character in control too. Whoa! button does the same thing. This is amazing. Get ready, wave three. them flanking me like that. <laughs> Impressive. Out of all the versions, you might be the chosen one. Join me and we'll rule together. No, never. You will regret this. Also, I was lying. Ha 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 ha. Many of them. 
probably won't be able to get them all. a TV. I mean, I see a shiny light up over here. That's got to be it. You have gone. Does that mean I'm going the wrong direction? <laughs> Flying Cosmo, thank you. For the hydrate reminder. No. Oh, I'm dead. I don't really have any life in this world. Oh, I just didn't have any life at all. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Okay, let's see where it starts us from. Hopefully. I do have heals. Remember you have heals, Trisha. Could also go with one of these in the beginning. Yeah, I have flashbangs, exactly. You have gone. TV man, run for that TV. I was close. I knew I was close now. After dreamless sleep, you come to and gradually become aware of the utter lack. There is nothing. Focus or go back to sleep? Let's focus. You search for something to focus on. An idea of a geometric shape comes to your mind. A pentagonal trapezohedron. How do you know the name of the shape? That you don't know. You feel yourself fading, drifting apart, losing your essence in the stream of consciousness. The ebbs and flows of your thoughts. Let's let ourselves go. This is wild. You let yourself drift apart, losing what thought and focus you had. Sleep reclaims you. After dreamless sleep, you become, okay, now focus. Okay, so we got the same thing again. Let's try, hold yourself together. You fight to hold yourself together, to swim against the current, to break the surface. Coming to focus, you realize your first impression was wrong. There is something, and there is you. Slowly, you sense the words describing this, describing how it is. Here, in the farthest reaches of the multiverse, you have reached a reality where only ideas exist. An idea of reality. A conceptual reality. A thought tries to form in your mind. You focus on the thought, and it becomes clear. In the beginning, 
there was the word. Here, only words exist. They are everything. They describe this world and you in it. Decipher the words. The words describe you standing in a barren conceptual desert. It stretches on to eternity. In a place outside time, you wait, an immeasurable amount of time. Above, ideas of stars silently collide and collapse into black holes. With an idea of a desert comes an idea of feeling thirsty. Imagine a cup of coffee or imagine a cup of tea. I mean, I feel like we have to go coffee. As you imagine it, a cup of coffee, your favorite hot beverage, manifests itself. The idea of it, the concept of its delicious smell and taste. You savor it. You imagine savoring it. You understand that here, your thoughts are as real as anything. Assess your situation. You realize you could be trapped here forever. Vaguely, you remember that you are on a mission of vital importance. You feel the details of it already dissolving. You must figure out a way to escape before you lose yourself again. When traveling through the vortex, you always had a focal point in mind. Could that be the solution here as well? Focus on the master of many worlds or focus on the red-headed woman? Uh, focus on the red-headed woman. You think of her and she is there. You are with her. This version of her knows nothing about the multiverse. Her name is Lisa. She is a dancer. She wears a spiral pendant around her neck. You feel a strong pull toward her. Tell her that you've come back for her or thank her for coming back for you. I mean, in the story, he keeps saying, I'll come back for you, I'll come back for you. So I feel like we have to tell her that we've come back for her. She thinks it's a pickup line, but it makes her smile. There's an echo of it having been said many times across many realities, and that gives it gravity. Not long after, you are a couple. You are head over heels happy, but what you experienced in the multiverse still haunts you. Forget your past or conceal your past. Conceal your past. You pack your REC equipment in a box and drive to a nearby bridge. You throw the box over the railing, watch it hit the water and disappear into darkness. The ripples spread across the black mirror surface. You vow to hide your past from everyone, even Lisa. She'd think you're crazy. Settle down to live your life with her. You return to your acting work, but stay away from video games. You love Lisa, but you don't get to spend a lot of time together. You're both busy. She trains hard. She has a big dance production in the works. You can tell she is very tired, not doing well. She's having trouble with her ankle. She asks for your advice. Should she cancel her new show or push on? Advise her to cancel or encourage her to push on? Um... Uh, she's very tired and not doing well. Advise her to cancel. You advise her to cancel and look after her health. There will be other shows. She cancels her show, disappointed, and collapses. She's burned out, more tired than either of you had realized. She needs to rest. Her ankle will heal. She thanks you for being there for her, but you can tell she's disappointed. Find a way to distract her or give her some space. Find a way to distract her. You feel you both need a break away from the city. You surprise her with a rented cabin on an island in a breathtaking caldera lake in the Pacific Northwest. You tell yourselves you can rest here. You think you can be happy here. No. Tell her you love her. She says she loves you too. That night she wakes up to a terrible nightmare. She's distressed but eventually calms down in your arms. The nightmare comes every night after that. In her dream, she's aware of the multiverse, the many versions of you and her. In her dreams, you are murdered again and again. She doesn't want to sleep anymore. You're worried. Tell her the truth about the multiverse or hide the truth that will only upset her. Let's tell her the truth. You tell her the truth about the multiverse. Her dreams have felt so real that she immediately believes what you tell her. She's furious at you for keeping this from her. Tell her you were afraid that no one would believe you. She understands you. It is insane. Tell her everything you know. From then on, she becomes obsessed about the multiverse. That's all she wants to talk about, determined to learn everything she can. One night, you gasp awake. She is not there. She's left a note. From outside, you hear someone wading into the water. Open the note or run outside. Open the note or run outside. Rob says open. Opening the note, you hear the sound of a Luma Vista TV triggered. The sound of the vortex between worlds. Somehow, she has your PRS. The one you cast away in the river half a continent away. 
She has gone to find her destiny in the multiverse. Inside the note is her spiral pendant. Pick up her pendant. You pick up her spiral pendant. You realize you've lost your way, forgotten your mission and your goal. You've drifted off course, carried by the currents of your hopes and ideas in this conceptual reality. You frown, trying to remember where you were trying to go. What was your mission? You look for it, shifting through your thoughts. It comes to you with a jolt. You were trying to find your way to the master of many worlds. There was something about a door. Focus on the door. With that, a door begins to come into focus. You realize it's missing something. Hang the spiral pendant on the door. There is now a spiral symbol on the door. And with that, the door is fully there. Open the door. You open the door. Step over the threshold. You step inside and stand in a room with a man, the master of many worlds, sitting behind a desk, typing, turning concepts and ideas into words, shaping this reality. He lifts his head. You stare the man in the eye. With shock, you realize that you've made a mistake. You've come to the wrong place. The man, this master of many worlds, is not the one you were looking for. He's not Dor. He's someone else entirely. You want to ask him what he knows, but it's already too late. It's a tape. It's Alan! We have witnessed a case of mistaken identity. But in the vastness of the multiverse, with an endless number of versions of ourselves, what is identity anyway? Can there be more than one master of many worlds? Or did our hero take a wrong turn somewhere along the way? Was this particular journey precisely what was needed to make him the one he was meant to become? One thing is certain. I am your host. The one and only Warland Dwarf. And this is Night Springs. <laughs> Rob says, I'm more confused now. And yes, the next DLC is supposed to come in October. Remedy said these are all early stories Alan tried writing to get out. Ah. I mean, the music's so good. Oh, I love it so much. Astro Banshee, I agree. This was fantastic. I think no one's surprised that I think it's fantastic. I just, I love the world that Remedy creates. Um, I really enjoy the story and the adventure and the journey that the games take me on. I like figuring them out. Pudding says that's why they never really said any names. It's always the writer, the sheriff, the girl, and her brother. Yeah. Oh, Tank Shade X says there's multiple choices in the text adventure part. I took a different path. Yeah, I basically made Sheriff Breaker and Jesse Faden, whose name was Lisa, into Alan and Alice in my text adventure. So weird. I love it. All right. Could this go differently if you chose to think of Dor instead of the woman when you were stuck in text mode? Probably. I also appreciate that the main character of that part was just Sean Ashmore. That's awesome. And Tank says that's the path you took. You took of Mr. You took thinking of Mr. Dor. And Sam Lake is apparently some kind of multiversal medium. Sure. Aww. Chasing the murder cult made me feel like I was caught in a loop. Every time I thought I was getting closer, things shifted around. 
I realized I was further away than ever before. Instead of answers, I only got more questions. The name of the cult and the masks they wore kept changing. The deeper into the dark depths I got, peeling off the layers of this case, like the ocean zones from twilight to midnight to abyssal to the deepest trenches, the closer I felt to going mad. Aww. Is James McCaffrey the voice of Casey and Max Payne? Because I know Sam Lake is the face. You have returned. Geeky Heart, thank you for the resub, my friend. How are you? Yeah. Aww. Great voice. Great, great. Oh my. Sam is one of the faces. Sure. Well, now there's multiple faces, multiple. What is identity anyway? Remedy? Who knows? But yeah, RIP James. That's really sad. I know the team that works on these, uh, the Remedy team is really tight. They're a really close group of friends. Oh, Max Payne has had three faces. I always think of Sam when I think of Max Payne. Um, but yeah, this, this was great DLC. Cannot wait for the October DLC. Just in time for Halloween. Very stoked for it. Um, but folks, this is where I'm going to end today's stream. There will be no stream tomorrow since it's July the 4th and I'll be spending time with friends and family. Uh, but I will be streaming on Friday, provided I don't have jury duty, uh, both really early in the morning for Amazon. I'm hosting their best deals of the week this Friday morning. And then I'll have Nintendo Weekly after that. Again, if I do get called in for jury duty, I actually will know as of 7 p.m. tonight. So I've got like two more hours before I find out. Um, but I'll let everybody know in the Discord so that you can plan your day for those of you that try to plan around the stream so that you can plan your day accordingly. All right. Thank you all so very, very much for tuning into the stream. For anyone who may have missed the secret code this week, it's Dragon Rider, but the O is a zero. Um, and that's the secret code for the giveaway. Please join the giveaway if you have not already. It's open worldwide and uh, the prizes are being shipped out thanks to Lexar, the memory company. So it's for an Asus Ally ROG handheld gaming PC and a Lexar one terabyte play micro SD card. All right, everyone, be safe tomorrow if you're choosing to celebrate, and I will see you in Discord. Oh, and I am going to post Instagram. So I'm going to post an Instagram and message everybody that I need to get uh, extra entries or channel points too. All right, bye, everybody.